Hi, good afternoon guys. This is Saeed here from Training Fishing Group and today is COVID-19 lockdown day 4 and um, as I said I'll be here every day with you on YouTube. Um, today is a special day we're going to do uh, offshore preparation. So this is what I do and how I prepare my line when I'm going fishing offshore on the boat. Yesterday I did some um, shoreline fishing preparation so this will be offshore and well you can say inshore fishing as well because we fish close to land on boat as well um, so I'll just give you an idea of the type of line I rig and what I use coming closer to summertime now right we will be looking at and looking at catching some mutton snapper so we have a few months again you know time flies so it's always good to prepare uh, when you're looking to catch mutton snapper Right, we will, well, well, normally we fish them around reefs, rocks, that kind of area. Um, it's not the normal banky line or up and down line we would normally use. Mutton snapper usually bites <coughs> a bit higher up in the water. So how I fish for them, I normally, I normally, my leader would be around 30 feet. And uh, I'll give you an idea of how we fish for them. So what I normally do, I use a tree way swivel. Right, this is a tree waist swivel if you guys don't know. So you have a tree waist swivel, right? And you also have your sinker. And well, you have your fishing line. When you're fishing for mutton snapper, you normally fish with a thin line as a leader. So your line has to be thin. This is a 25 pound test. Right, if you want to go 20 pound, that's fine. But I'm using a 25 pound test line. So what I normally do, right? Now, this is my main line. So this is my main fish line on my rod or my caster. So I would tie it on one end of the swivel. All right? So this is my main line. I'm using a caster here. Now your main line could be thickish because the fish wouldn't be feeding push really wouldn't be seeing that. They'll be seeing more the, the, the leader line. So the leader line has to be thin. So this is my main line. So the other side now, right, I'm putting my, my leader line. And for example, I'm using a 20 pound test, 30 pound test leader line here. Normally you could use 30 pound, 20 pound, 25 pound test. So you could use a leader line or you could use a normal mono line, that's fine. All right, so you normally check around five arms length, one, two, three four five arms length so this is a leader line so how long it is five arms length bottom i would normally tie that on the other end here so we tie in as normal uni knot like we tie on a swivel so this is a normal uni knot you're tying one two three four five And then we tie on a hook. Um, I normally tie on normal, you could snell it, or you just tie a normal knot, which is a uni knot. One, two, three, four, five. This is a simple knot and it's pretty strong. That's, this can't be. Right. Cool. And then now on this side, I tie a piece of nylon. No, don't have to be too long, maybe six inches, eight inches in length. And I tie it. So this is my main line. This is my leader line with my hook. And this now I'm using to tie my sinker. So normal same uni knot. I'm using three, four, same knot. This is a popular fishing knot. And then I have my hook. My sinker. It all depends on where you're fishing. You could use 4 ounces, 8 ounces, 10 ounces, 12 ounces, 16 ounces. It depends on the depth and the current. Normally, I find when mutton snapper they bite more and more a couple of days after new moon, sorry, after full moon. And um, they like to bite on a falling tide. So, normally, the current is very strong. It flows like a river. So, I would use a heavier sinker. Just giving an example of putting a small sinker here. So, I would style the same uni knot. 
So when I fish them, I fish them around full moon and I fish them on the falling tide. All right, so that's it, simple. I have my three way swivel, right? I have my main line on the top. On the bottom here, I have my leader line, which is attached to my hook. And then I have my sinker on the other end. So this is the three way. So I throw that in the water, uh, what happens is the main line, the, the leader line, now when the sinker touches the bottom, the line goes up. Now when you're hooking a bait, even you could use that bait or light bait, people like, they like to buy Joshua. If you're using Bonito, you have to cut, cut it a certain way so that, so that the Bonito would, would, would move properly in the water. Right? You don't, you don't want to hook, hook it in a way where it may, it, the bait will spin. So if you're hooking the Joshua, you hook the Joshua, I hook it by its nose, so and it swims perfectly fine. If you hook in a Bonito, you cut it in like a fish, and you hook it on the top, like if you hook it in by its eye, and it will swim like this. You don't want it. If it's spinning, the fish wouldn't take the line. Alright, if you use a live Joshua, hook it by the nose, throw it out, live Balahu, dead Balahu, nose, hook it, throw it out. Alright, so this is my mountain snapper rig. Now this redfish water does real by this, eh? So I give me a fish in Patos, down the island, try this rig. Sometimes the fish might be a little higher up, 20, 30 feet, 40, 50 feet up. And you might be in game, fish might be higher up and you, you might catch other type of species of fish too, but this is more for mountain snapper. All right, so this is the first rig I wanted to show. The second rig I wanted to show you is, now you need some equipment for this. Now, this is a, a rig that I use when I'm, when I'm catching salmon on the islands, right? Which is a deep sea rig. So you'll actually see it has crimps, the thick line, you have a uh, circle, and this is pretty big. This has around five hooks in it. So what you need, you need a crimper. Right, you need a crane swivel, so this is a swivel with, a, with like a tube in it for the line to go in. You need your hook, I use this hook, which is a snapper hook. And you need sleeves. This is a, a, a double sleeve. So these are the things that you would need. And you would need a swivel with a with clamp here, which your hook sinker goes on. So you need a few things when you're using this rig. This rig works pretty well. Um, the type of leader line you can use, I normally use like a 200 pound test, a 250 pound test. Um, so let's get started. Let me get my line. So this is my line here. So we're gonna cut one end. And we are going to start where the sinker goes. Alright, so basically, this is where the sinker goes. But well, this line looking a bit mashed up because I use this all the time. Alright, so let's get started. So I have my double sleeves here. I put in my swivel. I make a loop. Push it through, and this is where my sinker goes, and then I use my clamp, clamp all the way down. I try and cram this properly because this is important. Alright, this is my first part, so this is, this is where my sinker goes. Cool. So then now I use my green silver. I have my crane circle here. I kind of average how far I want between my sinker and my, my hook. So what I do, you can use one of the rigs that you have. So you can give yourself an average. If you have one, I'm giving you an average with regards to what I have here. And uh, this would be around the same average here, six inches to eight inches. And then these, you can 
and cream as well so these barrel these uh, these cream swivels you can cream this is what it's made for all right cool so this cream can't move all right so this is my first rig so i have my sinker i have my hook and i'm gonna do the same now for my other crane swivel so i'm gonna average about six inches and i'm gonna go so i'll see you soon it's gonna take a while but i'm gonna do it now and then i'll show you the end result all right so i'm also almost finished this is the line that i rigged up so as i said crimper crane swivel double sleeve and we should be good to go so i'll be back soon just so that i would give you an update okay guys so that took a little while to do as a see how long the leader is and I still didn't make it as long as I wanted. This one has four hooks as normally. Put five hooks or six hooks. So I have one, two, three, four. So it's around six feet in length. Took me a little while. This end I would have my sinker and swivel and I'll have my main line. I'll do a video on this separately to show you exactly how I made it and do it step by step. But I'll take a little while. So this is my banking ring. So this is when I go deep drop bank and this is what I use if you want to catch salmon, big red fish, you know, um, snapper, any type of deep, deep sea fish. This is the rig I use. These are the hooks that I use. I'm going to try out this hook here as well, the snapper hook. Alright, so this is another one. So we have the mutton snapper rig and then we have the deep drop bank rig. You have the normal rig which we use which is a double loop. So I'll show you guys that. So I have my main line here, I'll make a loop, alright, um, I'll always use double so the nut won't slip out, so I'll make a double loop and then I'll put a sinker, alright, so I'll put my sinker here and then I'll I normally look at around 6 inches I'll make another double loop 1 2 So I have 2 loops If you want to put a 2 hook, you can put a 2 hook Make another double loop 1 2 This is the more common line everybody would use it and then I'll tie a swivel on this end so I tie a normal swivel so I'll make a normal sim not one two three four five all right cool. so I have my main line when I put in my hook all right I put it like this on the edge here through the loop and then over the hook right and that's it so I'll have one two three hooks or one two hook and then I'll have my sinker so this is my banking line or up and down line as we call it so we have the up and down line we have the button snapper rig which gives the hook a little leverage over the bottom so if any fish is biting a little bit higher up there they feel and then I have the normal um, I have the deep drop banking rig which you would need a two way swivel two way sleeve sorry I would need a swivel a swivel with a clamp and crane Simple. So I'll do a video separate on that. This is just what I do and how I rig up my lines offshore. Now, if I'm trolling with lures, I normally use... I love this. Now, this is my preference. I love this. This is a deep diver. So the longer the beak, 
the deeper the fish dives. So as you will see this now, this will stay a little bit higher up on the water. This will dive up a bit deeper. This will give you about 25, let's say 20, 25 feet um, distance underneath. All right. Um, I love this color. I find in our waters the red and white normally works pretty well. This is a William. This is a Williamson. There's also the Rapala and there's also Yozuri has a crystal minimalist color. It looks excellent. I don't have it here, but I have one. And I also use this, which is a Rapala. This is on my roll right now. Rapala. Um, you can use fluorocarbon line. But if you're looking, if you're looking at target like Kari Kingfish, I'd recommend that you use wire. Um, the wire that I use would be toothproof wire. All right, I'll show you how I rig it up and um, and how I tie my knots and whatnot. As I said, I will be video will be a little bit longer, so I'll show you that. So I normally use. I love this pink usury. This is for me. I love this. Very colorful. It's nice. It's rattles in the water. Um, also the. Crystal Mino Yuzuri, which is a, a red and white, that is what that was good, red and clear, red and white, it was good. I, I used 27 pound toothproof, and um, another another rig I also use is, uh, I use this for catching carries, so I normally use a 15 pound test line, and um, I don't use any swivel, I just tie an uh, all bright nut onto my wire, and I use a uh, alavi hook normally this is the size of alavi hook i use because of the size of bait we get in get in some small judgments some small heron so i use small alavi hooks so it depends on the size of your bait you will, you will change your hook to suit i'll do some nuts and show you guys more in detail what i do but as i said i don't want to bore you just keep it simple for now so basically the three types of rig that i use is the jeep job banking rig mortal snapper rig and also you just see double double loop or triple loop and if I'm trolling, I use the Ozuri, I use the pink crystal minnow, also the red and white minnow. I use the Williamson red and white, it has a rapala like this as well, it has like a wooden material. And I also use this color, the Ozuri, if I'm looking to hit shallow waters. Alright, so that is what I use as well. And then, well, 15 pound test monofilament line, Grand Slam. Um, you can use any type of line, a ratty, some people use um, the, the, well I use the high seas, then there's a Berkeley Trilene, 15 pound test line, 12 pound, 15 pound, be safe, use the 15 pound, um, toothproof stainless steel wire, which is 27 pound test, and that's what I really do when I go to any boat, those three rigs, um, I have my, my fluorocarbon lead on my wire, hook up on my lure, and yeah, that's about it, keep it simple. I use Joshua and Bonito when I'm fishing deep drop and if you get live bait you would use the live Joshua. So yeah that's about it for today. I just wanna keep it simple and um, tomorrow stay tuned tomorrow for tomorrow's video. I hope you guys enjoy. Take care and be safe. Alright? Stay indoors.